first half of his life lived in Spanish, the long syntax of Las Montañas that lined his village, the rhyme of Sol with his soul, a Cuban alma that swayed with Las Palmas, the sharp rhythm of his machete cutting through caña, the syllables of his canarios that sung into la brisa of the island home he left to spell out the second half of his life in English. The vernacular of New York City sleet, neon, glass, and the brick factory where he learned to polish steel 12 hours a day. Enough to save enough to buy a used Spanish-English dictionary he kept bedside like a Bible, studied 15 new words after his prayers each night, then practiced them on us the next day. Buenos dias, indeed, my family. Indeed, mas café. Have a good day today, indeed. 